Alright, so those are a new HS car that I'm still gonna put the guy's name in the description that got me um the Bel Air. Um, right now I'm just sewing their stat stock. No upgrades on it. So I'm gonna show the specific upgrades that you can get on them. So everybody knows about the Austin Taxi, the HS one. You can put a normal body kit like always, but special thing with this one is that when you put a second body kit, first one, sort of, um, the tires on the back are huge. Um, and the engine, that's the main part. Uh, you can put a 7.4 liter twin turbo. And many other engines so it's pretty insane All right, then, uh, yeah. I'm just putting the upgrades because I don't know what I was doing then six like always I'm showing it's actually 450 files on the back you can see the number it's, it's crazy This is not our one. It's putting it is still the same body kit, but as you can see, when you change body kit, it does not um, upgrade the wheels. And here I'm still showing the engine. You see, you can see you're missing two big engine like always. So yeah, it's a way weaker. And you can see, even if you upgrade them, they don't get that big compared to the HS. Oh, you gotta expect with all that power, you gotta get thick tires. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the HS Belair. Um, still new engine in it. Well, one new engine. A uh, 7.2 liter. Uh, it's 1351 I think um yeah and I thought you could get bigger tires on this but I guess they're the same width as the um normal one but a normal one you don't have that much power whereas this you gotta need these big tires for the power So this is the normal version of the Bel Air. As you can see, it does not add a 7.28. That's why it's way worse. Actually, fun facts that the HS1 is not that quick, but it's as fast as the Monte Carlo around. That. See, same tire with the HS. So, this is um, the end result. You can see the power. They're way higher on the HS one. Same again. Normal V8, and that's the V8 racing.